क्वेश्चन इज सुकन्या लिमिटेड इनवाइटेड एप्लीकेशन फॉर इशुइंग वन थाउजेंड इक्विट शेयर फॉर टेन इंच शेयर आर इश्यूड एट ए प्रीमियम ऑफ ट्वेंटी पर शेयर द लास्ट लाइन इज पास नेसेसरी जर्नल एंट्रीज फॉर द अब ट्रांजेक्शन इन द बुक्स ऑफ सुकन्या लिमिटेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ सुकन्या लिमिटेड वर्किंग नोट नोट वन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अमाउंट एंड नंबर ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट दिस इज एप्लीकेशन एंड अलॉटमेंट दैट इज रुपीज फोर फॉर कैपिटल एंड रुपीज टेन फॉर सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम रिजर्व On first call, rupees three for capital and rupees five for securities premium. On final call, second and final call, rupees three for capital and rupees five for securities premium. Total is rupees ten plus twenty as premium, and total collection on the head of this share will be rupees thirty. Here. One shareholder holding seven thousand shares, his name is Rohit, failed to pay first and second call, and the other one failed to pay second call. He holds five thousand shares and he is nominal. Now, number of shares issued ten thousand, number of applications are received or shares subscribed ninety six thousand. It is a case of under subscription. Hence, note. Amount of capital reserve in case of partial reissue. It is amount forfeited upon number of shares forfeited multiplied by number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. Here, rupees twenty eight thousand is the amount collected on the shares of a Rohit. That is seven thousand at the rate of four seven four ja twenty eight thousand upon seven thousand into seven thousand. Shares of Rohit were totally reissued, and that of Namit, out of a five thousand shares forfeited, one thousand was only reissued. He paid us three th- four rupees on application and three rupees on first call. Hence, total amounted to seven rupees. Hence, five thousand shares at the rate of seven, it is thirty five thousand. Upon five thousand into one thousand. Whole minus discount on this rupees sixteen thousand. The answer will be capital reserve of rupees nineteen thousand. And this is the answer as given in the book. Next one is fair notes. Draw the form of a journal. Journal entry is of Sukanya Limited. It is we have to draw the journal format as a date, particulars, ledger folio, debit with rupee symbol and credit with rupee symbol. First one will be bank account debited to share application and allotment account. Bank account debited to share application and allotment account, being share application and allotment money received on ninety six thousand applications at the rate of rupees fourteen per application. In the debit column, we will be having rupees thirteen lakh forty four thousand and credit column rupees thirteen lakh forty four thousand. Next one will be due entry for this is share application account debited application and allotment in one go we are collecting share application and allotment account debited rupees thirteen lakh forty four thousand to share capital account that is ninety six thousand shares at the rate of rupees four that is three lakh eighty four thousand to securities premium reserve account that is Ninety-six thousand shares at the rate of rupees ten, rupees nine lakh sixty thousand. Being share application and allotment money D one, ninety-six thousand shares at the rate of rupees four per share, including rupees ten per premium per share. The next one is first call due share first call account debited. That will be ninety-six thousand shares at the rate of rupees eight. To that is rupees seven lakh sixty eight thousand to share capital account that is ninety six thousand at the rate of rupees three rupees two lakh eighty eight thousand to securities premium reserve account that is ninety six thousand shares at the rate of rupees five that is rupees four lakh eighty thousand being share first call money due one ninety six thousand 
96,000 shares at the rate of rupees 8 per share, including rupees 5 per share for securities premium reserve. Then next one will be bank account debited to share fast call account. Being share fast call money received and 89,000 shares at the rate of rupees 8 per share. That means a holder of 7,000 shares could not pay fast call. Hence it is rupees 7 lakh 12,000 each. Next one is share second and final call account debited to share capital account. Same entry as third last above. Same amount. Share second and final call account debited to share capital account to securities premium reserve account. It is same as first call due entry. Being share second and final call money due on 96,000 shares at the rate of rupees 8 per share including 5 per share for securities premium reserve. Next one is bank account debited to share second and final call account. Being share second and final call money received on 84,000 shares at the rate of rupees 8 per share that is 96,000 shares minus 12,000 shares 5,000 and 7,000 12,000 shares that is 84,000 shares that is 6,72,000 rupees. Next one is share capital account debited and the next one is share capital account debited the entry for forfeiture share capital account debited we are forfeiting 12,000 shares of Rohit and Namit that is 12,000 shares of rupees 10 is fully called up rupees 1,20,000 securities premium reserve account on Rohit Rohit share on 7,000 share he failed to pay first call and second call and premium money is rupees 5 each that is rupees 7 that is 7000 shares at the rate of rupees 10 per premium plus 5000 share at the rate of rupees 5 per premium on second call that is rupees 95000 debit to share forfeited account rohit has paid on for 7000 shares rupees 4 per share for application and namit has paid on 5000 shares application and allotment for and first call 3 rupees 7 per share and total forfeited amount is rupees 63,000 and share first call account on which amount was in error for Namid is 7,000 at the rate of rupees 8 that is rupees 56,000 to share second and final call account it is in 12,000 shares at the rate of rupees 8 rupees 96,000 being 12,000 shares forfeited due to non-payment of a first call and second and final call money. Next one is reissue that is bank account debited. We reissued 8000 shares out of that at rupees 8 that is rupees 64,000. Forfeited shares account debit 8000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 that is rupees 16,000 to share capital account rupees 80,000 that is 8000 into 10 being 8000 shares reissued at rupees 8 per share fully paid out. Next one is share forfeited account debited to capital reserve account. It is 19,000 rupees each both debit and credit column. I will explain how this came. Being profit and forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account. Here note to amount of a capital reserve in case of partial reissue for your explanation. Amount forfeited upon number of shares forfeited multiplied by number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. Rupees 28,000 is the forfeited amount that is for 7,000 into 4, 28,000. And on Namith share, 7,000 was totally reissued by 7,000 multiplied by 7,000. And that of Mohit share and Mohit share was full reissued and Namith share that is 5000 into 7 he paid upon 5000 his total holding multiplied by 1000 total reissued share is 8000 7000 from the share of a, the first shareholder here the first shareholder is Rohit and second one Namit out of 5000 only 1000 were issued minus 16000 rupees that is equal to 28000 plus 7000 minus 
16,000 discount on the issue that is equal to rupees 19,000 that is share forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account rupees 19,000 each and the totaling of the jewel is rupees 59,22,000 both the sides and which is your both the columns which is your correct answer.